Hi learners, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we'll do the part three and we'll continue with the exercise 14.2. So we have already done eight questions. Now we'll go with question number nine. ABCD is a parallelogram. If angle A is 5x plus 5 degree and angle B is 4x minus 5 degree, you have to find the value of x and the measures of all the angles of the parallelogram ABCD. So I have drawn here the rough diagram of this parallelogram. So angle, this is A, B, C, D. I went this way. So angle A is 5x plus 5 degree and angle B is 4x minus 5 degree. So first thing what we will see here, that is these two angles are given. So here we can say angle A plus angle B, this is 180. The reason for this is because these are the adjacent angles. So we can say the adjacent angles are here. Supplementary, supplementary means it should be 180 degree. So this is given. So that is 180. So this is going to be 9x. This plus 5 minus 5 gets cancelled. So 9x is 180. So x will be 180 divided by this is 9. So x is going to be 20 degree. So now angle A is going to be because that is 5x plus 5. So we'll put in place of this x, we we'll put 20. So that will be, this is multiplication. So this will be 100 plus 5, which is going to be 105. Angle A is 105. So here angle B, we know that is 4x minus 5. So we'll put it in place of x, we'll put 20. So this will be 80 minus 5, which is going to be 75. So we'll put separately here. Angle C. We want this angle C and this angle D. So you know the opposite angles are equal. So whatever we get for A, that will be C. B is going to be same as D. So we can say angle C is equal to angle A, which is we got as 105. And angle D is angle B, which is 100 this will be 35 and so now we know x is 20 a is 105 b is 75 c is 105 and d is 75 this you have to write again the qrs is a parallelogram if p is 2x plus 10 and r is 3x minus 25 we have to find the value of x and the measures of all the angles of parallel program this is pqrs so again this is the rough diagram draw so this is pqrs so p is given as 2x plus 10 and this r is given as 3x minus 25 so we know first here we have to see these two things are given so we know this angle p is equal to angle r because you know these are the opposite sides so opposite angles in the parallelogram are equal so that means 2x plus 10 is equal to 3x minus 25 so 2x this goes here, that will be minus 3x, minus 25 as it is. So this will be plus 10 will be minus 10. So minus 3 plus 2, that is going to be minus x, minus 1x means minus x. And this will be minus 25 minus 10, which is going to be, you are going to add this one, but put a minus sign, so minus 25. Both the places negative means it is going to be positive. So x is going to be 35 degree. So now we know angle P is given as 2x plus 10. We'll plug in the value of x. So that will be 2 into 35 plus 10. So this will be 70 plus 10, which is going to be 80 degree. And angle R is 3x minus 25. So x is 35 here. So minus 25. So this is going to be 105 minus 25, which is going to be 80. So now we know the values of P and R. So we need, they said all the angles since we need these two values. So now you know these are the adjacent side P plus q that is going to be 180 because that is the adjacent side so now what we can see here angle p plus angle q is 180 because they are the adjacent sorry not the sides but the angles adjacent angles so adjacent angles are supplementary so this will be angle p we got is as 80 so 80 plus angle q is 180 degree so angle q is 180 degree minus 80 degree so angle q is going to be 100 degree so we got here angle q as well now we know these are the opposite sides so angle q will be equal to angle s so this will be same as so angle q is equal to angle s which is 100 because this is 100 because they are the opposite angles so this is separate we can again the values of x p q r and s the angles of a quadrilateral are in the ratio 2 is to 3 is to 5 is to 8 and you have to find the measure of this angle so this the ratio is given so we have to write like this let the angles be 2x 3x 5x and 8x 
So when we are going to add all this one, because this is the sum of it, because the quadrilateral sum of all the angles, which is going to be 360. So when you add all this one, that will be 18 x is 360. So x is going to be 360 divided by 18, which is going to be x will be 20. So now we have to find out 2x. 2x means in place of x, we are going to put 20. So which is going to be 40. 3x means 3 into 20, which is going to be 60. 5x means 5 into 20, that is going to be 100 and 8x means 8 into 20 which is going to be 160. So the angles are 40, 60, 100 and 160. In quadrilateral PQRS, the angles and the ratio, this is the ratio given and you have to find the angles of PQRS and then you have to say that what is the special name given to PQRS. So now again we will do here, right here. Let the angles be 3x, 4x, 5x and 6x. So when we add this one, sum of angles, that is going to be 360. So this will be 18x is 360, so x will be 360. This is multiplication, so it will get divided, which is going to be x is going to be 20. So now 3x will be 3 into 20, that is 60. 4x, 4 into 20, which is going to be 80. 5x, that is going to be 5 into 20, which is 100. And 6x will be 6 into 20, that will be 120. So we can say the angles are 60, 80, 100 and 120. So now what we can see here, this will be 6 and 120 is going to be 180 as well as 80 plus 100 also is going to be 180. So we can say here when we get such things both will be 180 so that will be in place of because we can say PQ this is a trapezium. So here with PQ is here will be it will be this way PQ is parallel to RS. So this way they said what is the special name given to PQ RS that is a trapezium. If ABCD is a rhombus and diagonals AC and BD intersect at O, if angle OAB is 55 degree, you have to find the angles of the rhombus. Now this again, this is a rough diagonal ABCD, which is given. So here they said the diagonals, these are the diagonals of it. And they intersect here as O, so AC and BD, these are the diagonals. And here it's given angle OAB is 55. So here we know, because this is a rhombus, angle AOB, this angle, this angle is equal to half of, always this one will be half of this A. This angle is going to be half of angle A. So OAB is already given, which is 55 is half of A, means of means multiplication. So this will go on the other side, this is divided, so that is going to get multiplied. 55 to 2 is equal to angle A. So angle A is going to be, this is going to be 110. So now you know this angle A, we got as 110, and this also is going to be 110 because these are the opposite ones. So angle A is equal to angle C, which is 110. Now this and this angle A plus angle B, that is 180 because they are the adjacent angles always are supplementary. So we got angle A is 110. So angle B, we can find out with the help of this one. So angle B is 180. This will go this side. That will be minus 110. So angle B is 70 degree. So now we know this is, this both are the same because they are the opposite one. So angle B is equal to angle D, which is 70 degree. So we got all the angles of the number. So you can write once again here, which I have not written angle A values, angle B, angle C and angle angle D values. So already it's given, you can write it. In the following paragraphs, find the measures of the angles marked as X, Y, Z. So we have to find this one. So now you know this 105 plus this X, that is 180 degree because they are the adjacent angles and adjacent angles always supplementary, supplementary means 180. So X is going to be 180 minus 105. So X will be 75 degree. Now this Y, this is the opposite one. So we know this is 105. So this Y also should be 105. So Y is 100 of our opposite angles are equal. So now we know this X, we already got this one X and this one, they are opposite ones. So X is equal to Z. We already got this as 75. So X is Z is equal to 5. That is opposite angles are equal. So now we got all the values X, Y and Z. So that is written here. Now here, what we can see here, these are the 40 plus Y. That is 
180 because of the adjacent angles are supplementary. So with the help of this, we can get a value of y 180 minus 40. So y is 140. So we got this as 140. So now this is 140 means this also should be 140 because they both are the opposite angles. So yz also is 140. You can write here opposite angles are equal. So you can write the reason. So now what we can see here, we got this 40. We got this as 140. This also 140. So now you know these are the this angle which is unknown. This is 40. So this also should be 40. Hope this is clear. This is 40. So this also should be 40 because they are the opposite angle. So now we have to see because this is the exterior angle. So this and this one, this should be a, this is a straight line. Now we can also call as a linear pair. So both of this angle should be 180. So we got this 40. 40 plus x is 180. So we can write x plus 40 is 180 because angles in a straight line. So x is going to be 180 minus 40. So x will be 140. So this is all the values that are x, y, z values. Now you can see here, these are the opposite sides. So this always we are going to be equal. So 4x minus 3 is equal to 3x plus 2. So 4x minus 3x, that will be 2. This will go on the other side. Minus 3 will be plus 3. So 4 minus 3, that is going to be just x, 1x, that is 5. So now we got the value of x is 5. So now what we can see here, now here, now look at this one, this and this one. So y plus 10, this and this angle. So we can say y plus 10 is 35. So y is going to be 35 plus 10 will go on the other side, that is going to be minus 10. So the value of this y is going to be 25. So here, we got the value of this, sorry, this one, y as 25. So now we can see here, this is 25 means this 25 plus 10, that is going to be, this is going to be 35. So now what we can say y plus 10 plus now in this, if we take this triangle. So what we can say y plus 10 plus z plus 70. This is 70. We are just going to think of this triangle. Now we know this from this one y is 25. So 25 plus 10, this is going to be, this is going to be 35. So this 35 plus 70 plus this one. So y plus 10 plus z plus this is going to be 180. So we got this y as 25. This is the same. That is 180. So this will be, sorry, this, this and this one. This is going to be 105 plus Z is 180. So Z is going to be 180 minus 105. So Z is going to be 75. So now we got all the values of X, Y and Z that we can write it separately over here. Now look at this figure. So now this is 110. So this also should be 110 because these both are the opposite angles. So y is 100 and so y also should be 100 and because y opposite angles are equal. Now what we can see this whole angle. So this should be. See now this is 110. So this whole angle should be 70 degree because you know the adjacent sides. Sorry, the adjacent angles should be always supplementary supplementary means 180 degrees so 110 plus this one should be so what we can see now this is 30 so here this is x plus so this whole thing should be 70 because this is 110 this whole thing should be 70 so what we can say this because now this is the so this one will be this we are going to consider this whole thing as 70 so we can write here x plus 30 is 70 so we, we want just this x value so x is going to be 70 minus 30 so x is going to be 40 so now you know this part is 40 so now what we can do here this is 40 now uh, we can go for this one because now th this is 30 and we want this y and z so what we can do here like this yes so now we will go for this triangle so we know this 30 this y and z this should be 
because this is a triangle that should be 180s for that we know this is 30 degree and now this y we know this is 110 so this also should be 110 and we have to find the value of z so now we'll just say this is 140 plus z is 180 so z is going to be 180 minus 140 so z is going to be 40 degree so these are again the values written x y and z which we got it over here now look at this one you know this is 90 degree so this also should be 90 degree this also should be 90 degree this also should be 90 degree because it is in the center so always this is going to be a right angle so all the angles will be 90 degree so what we can go we can go for this particular one i'll just draw it separately this is 90 this is 60 and this is y which you don't know so we can say y plus we are going to talk about this one so y plus 60 plus 90 is 180 degree so y plus this is 150 is 180 degree so y is going to be 180 minus 150 so y is 30 degree so we got this y is 30 degree so x now you know this is 90 so uh, as i told you earlier so this also x will be 90 degree and now you know this is y is 30 we got this y is so this also should be 30 because this are the these are the y sectors here so this also should be 30 degree so z is equal to y is equal to 30 degree so these are the values again written over here now let us go for this figure why now what we can see here this is slightly different now look at this one so we can see this one quadrilateral here and here one so we can start with this part so now you know this is 100 so this y these are the adjacent angles and supplementary you know they always the adjacent angles are supplementary so y plus 100 that is 180 adjacent angles are supplementary so we can get with the help of this one the value of y 180 minus this 100 so y is going to be 80 degrees so this is going to be 80 degrees so now we can see here we can go for this one so this is 80 degree so now we can go for this part so what we can see here now these again these are the adjacent angles for this quadrilateral this again these are the adjacent angles 70 plus z that is again 180 which are the adjacent angles are supplementary with the help of this one we can get z value as 180 minus 70 degrees so z is going to be 110 for this part so now since we got this as 80 this also now look at this one this angle because this angle is here so this is 80 so this part now see here this is a small part so this angle this angle also should be 80 now this is 70 so this angle also should be 70 see here this is 80 so this also should be 80 because we are going to think about this part now this is 70 so this angle also should be 70 now we are going to talk about this triangle small triangle one so this is 70 i'll just write right here this is 80 and this is x so 70 plus 80 plus this x so did you get this 80 plus x plus 70 or anyways you can write it that is 180 because that is a, a triangle so this is going to be 150 plus x is 180 so x is going to be 180 minus this will be 150 so x is going to be 30 degrees so you will write the values of x y and z here so by this one we have completed today's work to like and subscribe to my channel so you get a notification of the other parts also one more feature you can see in the comments this one where you see the comment section there is a feature there near the comment section there are two dots so you can slide over that dots so you can see an option called hype so also don't forget to press on the hype button thank you